On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me nothing. And that's because partridges are pretty rare in Connecticut, but that wasn't always the case. Welcome back to Ask the Naturalist. Today, we're going to be talking about why the population of ruffed grouse or partridges has declined in the state of Connecticut. For this, we're gonna to have to take a look at the history of Connecticut's landscapes. It was once entirely forested, but then in the colonial period, it was clear cut and we saw pastures across the state. Now we are seeing our forests take over once again. And the reason we're seeing less roughed grouse is because they rely on that young forest with ground cover and shrubs. They're facing pressure from development and habitat fragmentation, as well as grazing from deer, because deer love that young understory. Because we understand the importance of habitat diversity, Connecticut Audubon Society maintains its sanctuaries across the state uniquely to support as much biodiversity as possible. Although the ruffed grouse is not doing well in this state, we know across North America it is generally doing well. And we have information like this due to community science efforts like reporting to eBird and iNaturalist. So although you may not be able to find a partridge for your true love this year, with proper forest management efforts, we hope one day we will see an increase in this population in Connecticut.